Live from Los Angeles. Welcome back to Good Morning Island. I am so excited to welcome this young star on the rise. Dan Creighton is here, hot off the release of Nickelodeon's Hunter Street. Thanks so much for being with us. Yeah, thank you for having me. It's an incredible show. It's one of the top five shows for the youth category yeah, yeah. across the board in the United States. Congratulations. It's Congratulations. Thank you so much. Huge. Thank you so much. So yeah. tell us a little bit about your journey and what we can expect for season three. Well, my journey with the show is I've been playing on it for three seasons. Uh, but the first the first season, my character, he's very, he's this whiz kid. He's this like nerdy guy who does like te- technical stuff and experiments and whatnot. But in the first season, he was like more scared and not as confident and just like sat behind his computer doing doing like technical, technical, technical stuff and experiments. And the second season, he comes a little bit more out of his shell, but he's just very like heartfelt and like a naive boy. And then the third season, he becomes like more of like, he does more things like we go to, he we go to places where I'm not allowed to go like Sal my character used to be very like if somebody says no it's no and I was like oh but I'm so curious I have to go check it out uh, you know well we have a look at season 3 trailer let's oh, see awesome. let's do it. welcome to hunter street wait for it oh! You guys are not like other families I've stayed with. Home to a brand new mystery. Guys, wake up! Eric the kids are gone! Can we freak out now? I play Max, who's the new kid in this family. Where the only way the Hunter family can crack the case is to do it together. The parents have disappeared. We have to figure out between siblings how to get them back. What's that? We found our first clue! <laughs> When we go to different places, it becomes an adventure to find them. Gotta go faster! But to uncover the truth, what if it's some kind of code? They'll have. I could use a little help. Somebody tries to set up a huge trap. Or who? I have your attention. I was like. It's crazy. You okay? Hunter Street. Looks so fun. That was yeah. fun. So how much are you like on in real life? Are you like your character? Uh not that much. I'm not that much of like a whiz cater like with the computer. I'm not the guy who does like experiments, but he does have a big family, which it sounds cliche, but he'll do anything for his family and anything to like you know, protect them and whatnot. And I definitely do the same. Like I have a very big family, three older sisters, one younger brother. So like that, I'm the same, but like with the technical stuff and like the techie stuff, I'm not, I'm not that much, not much like. <laughs> <laughs> What's your journey in Hollywood been like? It's been, it's been surreal. It's honestly been surreal because I live in Amsterdam and I've been, I got introduced to like this Hollywood experience about two years ago. And I've been learning ever since, but it's so different from Amsterdam, like the vibe it's, but it's amazing. Wait, 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 how did you, you're in Amsterdam. <laughs> yeah. And then how did how this all come about? Well, I, I I was born in Amsterdam. I lived there for eight years. Mm-hmm. I did like I started with acting actually like at a very young age. Like when I was really really little, me and my little brother we used to like dress up like pirates and like that kind of stuff. And to this day, we still like do like some scenes like just as a joke, you know. But that's like looking back at it, that's really how it started. Like thinking about do, like doing these fun scenes, I'm like, oh wow, this is like a lot of fun to do. And then so I decided to so actually thanks to my oldest sister. She had, she had like this photo shoot with something. So I came, I went with her and they asked they could they take some photos of me. So I said, yeah, sure, let's do it. And then they were like, have you ever considered acting or something like that? I was like, well, no, I haven't thought about it, but it seemed pretty cool. So then I signed with this casting bureau and then I got like these small auditions, like commercials. And like, I learned from that. And then I moved to San Francisco and again, just small commercials and stuff like that. And then I, when I moved back to Amsterdam from San Francisco, it was like, Two years later, that I booked the show. Wow, what? that's incredible. that's like winning the lottery. I mean, really, <laughs> yeah, no, like it what? It's so, I mean, incredible. amazing. Yeah, it was awesome. Wow. What's been the hardest part of your journey so far? The hardest part has definitely it's been probably doing like I go to a private school, but I still go to school. So it's like combining filming with school, just because it's like filming is so 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 much fun. And um, so after shooting day. Uh, I go home, I have tutoring, and then the next day filming again, and then go home tutoring. So it was it was pretty draining going from set straight to tutoring, and then school set, tutoring, just yeah. all of that. But it worked out in the end, and I mean, it was so fun to shoot, and school still worked out as well. Yeah, it worked out. <laughs> yeah, <about> five. <laughs> yeah, Hunter Street seems like such an incredible adventure. What have been some of your favorite highlights over the past three seasons? Uh, basically, since since we're such like a tight-knit group, 
we were always like hanging out with each other. We're very close, all of us, everybody on the cast, we're all very close. So it's also, it's just a lot of fun to shoot scenes that we film together uh, because it's just, it's just so funny. It's just such a nice vibe. But this season as well, something that was really funny was uh, my character had to uh, fly a drone through a forest. And then the funniest thing is I, I can't fly a drone. Like I can't do, like they gave me a drone like two weeks before we shot that scene, like to like, here, good luck, like learn how to fly this. I'm like, okay. So I tried and it was like crashing everywhere. And it was because it was the real drone that we had to use. So I had to be careful. So what happened was, um, so somebody from, somebody from the crew flew the drone and then the drone had to crash, like in the show it had to crash. But we had like this tree, we're like, okay, that tree has to crash because it's low and we can reach it. So what happened was he, he lost control as well. So it crashed in a high, very high tree and everybody from the crew was eventually like throwing branches and twigs trying to get that down. <laughs> out. So yeah, that was definitely like, that was one of the best experiences. Oh my God. That is yeah. awesome. What have you learned about sort of yourself and sort of being an actor from the other, either folks on the sort of cast or? It's really eye open. Like I've learned, I've learned a lot based of like on like my acting experiences, like how much I've grown as an actor it has definitely come from the people that I filmed with, like Stoney Blyden, he's very talented in the first season, Thomas Jansen, Kira Smith, everybody from the cast, like Wilson, they're just super talented. And like, I have taken acting classes, which do teach you a lot, like don't get me wrong, but being on set with those type of people, so those talented actors, that really teaches you more about acting and more about yourself and everything like that. Wow. So what do you think is next for you? You know, I hope, I honestly hope that, like this show is a lot of fun to film. So I hope for a fourth season, obviously, but it would be great to play in something more like, more edgy or more drama or more like those th that horror type of vibe. I think that'd be really cool to play. <laughs> the horror vibe. Yeah. <laughs> Your favorite actors? Horror. Oh, for sure. Ansel Elgort. I love everything that he's done. Like Men, Women, and Children, such an inspiring movie. Uh, and then like anything Timothy Chalamet is doing, he's so talented as well. Definitely those two guys. I definitely look up to those two guys, yeah, for sure. Everything. So do, where do you live now? I live in Amsterdam. You do? So I do. How, so we... You film here and then you go back? No, no, no. We actually film everything from the show in Amsterdam. And that's oh, wow. that's funny as well because we wow. use a lot of like the Amsterdam landmarks uh, at, as a filming location. So there's this really famous museum called the, the Dijk's Museum, which is where the uh, Night Watch is. And usually that room is super, super crowded. But we got to film in that museum after closing time. And that was that was so surreal. Wow. That was crazy because I lived I lived in Amsterdam my whole life. Like I visited that museum and it's so busy. And then I get to film in it. Wow, like, it was awesome. It's well, thanks so for making my life seem very boring. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you kidding me? What is it? The hunger, is it the hunger <laughs> Exactly. So, Dan, please tell everyone where they can find and follow your journey because it's a very exciting one. For sure, definitely check out Hunter Street every weekday on T Nick at six thirty and follow me on Instagram at Dan Creighton. Wow. Fantastic. Thank you so Thank much, you Dan. So Thank you so much. Good morning, Lawland.